Hi everyone, if you want to see how I make this beautiful sorrel wine, please come on. Good morning everyone. So I'll be making, today I will be making Jamaican sorrel wine. Uh, it's a usually a Christmas tradition. We make it a lot in the islands or also anywhere you live in where Jamaican we make it a lot when we can get the ingredients. So we're going to be using sun-dried sorrel. Um, I have three packages. Three packages of sorrel. We're going to need lots and lots of ginger. Um, these are already washed and cleaned. Um, you're going to need some Jamaican red label wine. You can use the red label wine, you can use the stone ginger wine, and you can use a little bit of the white, Jamaican white rum. And for sweetening, you're going to need some syrup, whatever syrup you can find. This is just the Jolly Rancher syrup. It, it's, it said um, cherry flavored, but it's not strong enough to take over the taste of the sorrel wine. You can use a sorrel wine also, or a sorrel syrup if you can find it in the West Indian store. And if you can't find it, you can use the um, special fine granulated sugar from Red Path. And you're going to need a pot. And this is the side of the size of my pot. It's, um, this one goes up to 11 liters. But knowing how I love sorrel, I'm probably going to need a bigger one because this is nice. But I had a bigger one and the anvil broke, so I had to just get this one. But if you have a size pot like this or a bigger one, it's good. And you're going to catch a lot of water in it. Not too much. I'm going to catch it to the 8 liters for now. And if I need more, I just add it. Now I'm going to be crushing this, the, the um, ginger to put in the pot. And I have the stove on how I crush the ginger is, I put it in a big Ziploc bag like this, have a kitchen cloth down on top of the counter, and I just crush the ginger by putting them in here. Stove to medium. So now I'm going to be dumping the sorrel in here. So the reason why I let the pot, the ginger itself, come to a boil because I tend to get all the juices and all the strength of the ginger inside of the sorrel. So now that it's boiled, as soon as you start to see it boil, you dump your sorrel in it and just push it down because you don't want too much of the water evaporate and then you turn off your stove or depends on how big your pot is, you can put it to low and let all the sorrel the one the the this settle in the pot until the color becomes the color of the sorrel itself becomes light guys this is pretty much still hot you can still see the steam coming off so what i like to do now instead of wait till it's cold or a little bit cooler um i like to put in the sugar now just for it to be dissolve easier in the warm liquid so this is approximate actually it's one cup of sugar and for the size of the pot, you're going to need two or more, right? Take out the ginger and the sorrel and let it drain off and then uh, put it in the composter. So that's why it looks like this, like there's hardly anything in it, it's mostly liquid. And then after it cools down, I'm still going to strain it. But for you to taste it, you can taste it. How I usually do it is just put a tiny bit in my hand. Sorry, it's just how I do it. And I still can taste that it needs more. So what I usually do is put the syrup at this time. So I already strained off the first bowl. This is it right here. And now there is more that's left in the pot. So this is how I do it. I have two strainer, this one and this one. And then I just use the cup and I Throw it in like that. That way it gets strained really good. I'm going to put the red label wine in. So 
guys, here's just my representation of the Jamaican sorrel wine. This is how I do mine. I put them in bottles like this just to store them in the fridge that I can reach for them and just enjoy a glass like I have here. And uh, you can enjoy this beverage with anything of your desire. So I choose to just right now enjoy it with a piece of Jamaican black cake and a Christmas cookie. And when you have your white room, if you do, just add it a little bit at a time and stir it because it tends to thin it out or dilute it a bit. Depends on how strong you make the sorrow. But this is it, you guys. And if you do it, tag me below and let me see how you do it. Or if you need, if you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. But for now, please like, share, subscribe, leave your comments. And I'll catch you again in another DIY.